อามีคนยกมือขึ้นมาแล้วสวัสดีครับ Good afternoon นะครับ Alright ขอมือคนรีเซนต์นิดนึงครับยกมือสูงเดี๋ยวขอเลขนะครับทีมพรีเซนต์พิมพ์เข้ามาในแชทบ็อกก่อนนะครับทีมพรีเซนต์อาจจะต้องสแตนบายเร็วกว่าเพื่อนๆนี่นะฮะรุดเร็วทันใจยกมือขึ้นมาเลยนะครับใครที่รู้ตัวว่าต้องพูดวันนี้นะฮะ Public Speaking Presentation ปดปดเจ็ดห้าเก้าศูนย์ห้าเก้าสามห้าปดสองหกศูนย์เก้าหกหนึ่งหกหกสองสาม6 3 4 6 3 5 and then 6 5 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 students here right who are gonna present who are gonna do presentation today right all right um ทีนี้วันนี้ท็อปิกเรื่องอะไรเอ่ย Clause ค่ะ now clause แล้วก็ relative clause แล้วก็ if clause clause โอเคสามเวอร์ชันนั่นเองนะครับ good อ่าเดี๋ยวรอเพื่อนก่อนนะครับเดี๋ยวรอเพื่อนจอยก่อนนะอ่าสำหรับใครที่เข้ามาแล้วนะฮะเพื่อไม่ให้เป็นการเสียเวลาใครที่อยู่ใน zoom เช็คชื่อดีกว่าครับ attendance check เลยนะฮะ win win ขอชื่อแล้วก็ id student เข้ามาในไลน์เลยครับสามศูนย์สามเกิร์ฮอ๋อเรดพิมพ์เข้ามาเลยนะครับใครที่อยู่ในซูมแล้วเช็คชื่อเลย just check here สามสิบสามคนนะครับ attendance check อ่ะพิมพ์เข้ามาเลยครับพร้อมนะฮะทีมพรีเซนต์พร้อมไหมเอ่ยปรบมือให้ตัวเองก่อนนะครับเป็นการแบบ motivate นะครับเหมือนเราเชียร์เชียร์อะไรนะ Miss Universe ได้ใครใครได้ครับเมื่อวานนะครับหยุดยาวทำอะไรบ้างครับเสร็จเราหรือว่าไปอ่านสื่อสาวไม่เกี่ยวนะ Alright เดี๋ยวขอเช็คคนพร้อมฟังด้วยนะครับใครที่พร้อมฟังเพื่อนนะฮะพิมพ์ yes เข้ามาหน่อยนะ Alright type yes here if you want to listen to your friend's presentation today อ yes นิดหนึ่งให้กำลังใจเพื่อนนะครับ attendance check ใครที่ยังไม่เช็คก็เข้ามาเลยนะฮะเดี๋ยวต้องปล่อยฟลอร์ให้กับทีมพรีเซนต์แล้ววันนี้วันนี้จะเป็นเรื่องที่ค่อนข้างเอ่อ let's say ว่า complicated นิดหนึ่งนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นก็เขาเพราะมันจะมีทั้ง sentence clause dependent independent clause นั่นเองนะครับอะ yes เข้ามานิดหนึ่งครับนะอ
All right, I think it's enough. Uh, member ประมาณ30คนไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวทยอยเข้าเลยเดี๋ยว I j u s off sharing แล้วก็ team present อ่าอยู่เปิดขึ้นมาเลยนะ One two three go. All right, good. Okay, so everyone can see it, right? Yes. Okay, so shall we start presentation here? One, two, three, go. Ha. Hello, everyone. Today, our group is going to give a presentation about classes. There are three types of classes today. There are if classes, relative classes, and non classes. Let's get into it. For the first clause, it is if clauses, or is another name is conditional sentences. They are used to speculate about what could happen, what might happen, and what we wish to happen. They are used to express that the action in the main clause can only take place if a certain condition is fulfilled. In English, most sentences using the conditional sentences contain with the word if. In all cases, these sentences are made up of an if clause and a main clause. There are five main ways of constructing conditional sentences in English. First one, it is a zero conditional. It is used when the time being referred to is now and always, and the situation is real and possible. It is also often used to refer to general truths such as scientific facts. The tense in both parts of the sentence is simple present. For an, uh, for examples, if you if you heat ice, it melts. The grass gets wet when it rains. From examples, you will notice that these two sentences are exactly the general truth. That's it. Second, type one conditional. It refers to a possible condition and its probable result. These sentences are based on facts, and they are used to make a statement about real world or particular situation. It's often used to give warnings. The form of sentence in type one conditional contains present simple or present continuous. As an if clause, and another one is present future as a main clause. For examples, your wife will get angry if you smoke. Nobody will notice if you make a mistake. From these examples, you will notice that they give a little bit of warning, which might happen or might not, or to ease your understanding, it is the fourth, uh, the possible foretell. Next one is direct one type two conditional it is used to refer a hypothetical condition and its probable result. Their form is a plus simple plus with root plus root one. For example, if I won the lottery, I would travel around the world. And next form is a plus simple plus with root b plus verb i n g. For example, if she lived with her parents, she wouldn't be living with Jack. Fourth one is type three conditional. It is used to refer to an unreal past condition and its probable result in the past. Their form is a plus past perfect with would have past verb three. For example, if you had taken medicine, you wouldn't have got a H8. And next form is a plus past perfect would have been past verb in J. For example, if she hadn't got a job in London. She would have been working in Paris. And last one is mixed type conditional is used to refer to an unreal past condition and its probable result in the present. Their form is a past past perfect with would past verb one. For example, if we had looked at the map, we wouldn't be lost. And next form is a past simple past with would have past verb three. For example, 
If I wasn't in the middle of another meeting, I would have been happy to help you. Okay, next is relative clauses. A relative clause is one kind of dependent clause. It has a subject and verb, but cannot stand alone as a sentence. It is sometimes called an adjective clause because it functions like an adjective. It gives more information about a noun. A relative clause always begins with a relative pronoun, which substitutes for a noun, a noun phrase, or a pronoun when sentences are combined. Next, let's get to know how to use relative pronouns and the example sentences of relative clauses with these relative pronouns. The first pronoun is who. Who is used for a subject or object pronoun for people. For example, I told you about the woman who lives next door. Next one is which. Which is used for subject or object pronoun for animals and things. For example, do you see the cat which is lying on the roof? Another which is used for referring to a whole sentence. For example, he couldn't read which surprised me. Next one is whose. Whose is used for possession for people, animals and things. For example, do you see the boy? Do you know the boy whose mother is a nurse? Next one is whom. Whom is used for object pronoun for people, especially in non-defining relative clauses. For example, I was invited by the professor whom I met at the conference. And the last one is that. That is used for subject or object pronoun for people, animals, and things. For example, I don't like the table that stands in the kitchen. And next, relative adverb. Relative adverbs are adverbs that hate an adjective cause. They are words that provide more information about people, places, or things being discussed. Relative adverbs join courses and sentences together. Let's take a look at these two sentences. This is the place. He's he proposed to me. Those sentences are correct but are a bit awkward to read or say. It's more fluent to write. This is the place where he proposed to me. Now we know more about the significance of the place. It's where they decided to get married. Where join those two concepts together. There are three commonly used relative adverbs. First, when. It means in which. When allows us to understand the time in which an action took place. For example, the day when we met him. The relative adverb where is used to communicate in which or at which. Where allows us to understand the location of the subject. For example, the place where we met him. Last, why. It means for which. It provides more reason for something taking place. For example, the reason why we met him. And there are two types of relative clauses, defining relative clause and non-defining relative clause. For defining relative clause, it gives information that defines the noun, information that's necessary for complete identification of the noun. Use that or which for non-human nouns and use that or who for human nouns and do not use the commas. For example, I like the paintings. In this sentence, we don't know which paintings and we cannot clearly identify them without the relative clause. So we have to add the clause, the paintings hang in the Museum of Modern Arts. So the sentence becomes, I like the paintings that hang in the Museum of Modern Arts. So now we know which painting that this person likes. And non-defining relative cause. Non-defining relative causes give us, give us extra information about someone or something that is not essential and may be omitted without affecting the contents of the sentence. Non-defining relative causes are always separated from the rest of the sentence by commas. In defining relative causes, the pronouns who, whom, and which are often replaced by that in spoken English. 
in non-defining relative clauses you can not replace or pronounce with that for example, my boss who is very nice lives in Manchester. Who is very nice is additional information which can be omitted. Well, let's get to know the last clause is a now clauses. Well, what is now clauses? Now clauses it are a now clause functions as a now in a sentence. It follows a linking or copular verb to describe or modify the subject of the sentence. It's unlike now phrases. Now clauses contain both a subject and a verb. And now clauses are dependent clauses, unlike independent clauses that can't stand alone as full sentences. Here is the keywords for now clauses. To spot a now clause in a sentence, it always begins with the following words. First is that. For example, next please, next slides. Okay. Okay. For example, Johnny's excuse for being late was that he forgot to set her alarm. That he forgot to set her alarm is a now clause of the sentence. Jessie thinks that she could be a good teacher. That she could be a good teacher is a now clause here. The second is whether and if. When the now clause begins with if or whether, it means that the clause is changed from yes or no question. For example, we wonder if she understands the lesson. If she understands the lesson is a now clause. And whether she understands the lesson or not is unimportant to us. Whether she understands the lesson or not is a now clause here. The last one is the BH word including what, whatever, when, where, wherever, which, whichever, who, whoever, whom, whomever, why, and how. For example, she was saddened by what she read. What she could read is a now clause of the sentence, and actors can become whoever they want to be on stage. Whoever they want to be on stage is a now clause of the sentence. Next is types of a now clause. There are some of the most common rules of now clauses. First function of now clause is subject. Now clause can function as subject of a sentence for these examples. What she wrote surprised her family. How the boy behaved were not very polite. In these sentences, the now clause, what she wrote and how the boy behaved act as a single subject of, of independent clause. Next is, Object of the verb. Now clause can act as direct object and indirect object of the verb. The follow verbs to inform the reader where the main verb and secondary verb are going. For example, the pharmacist checked that the, prescrip that the prescription was correct and he didn't know why the printer was not working. In these sentences, the now clause that the prescription was correct and why the printer was not working as at the in the direct object of the verbs, check and no. Another sentence is example of now clause acting as indirect object. She shows to photograph whoever was willing to pose for her. This, this sentence, the direct object of the verb shows is infinitive phrase to photograph, just like a now clause. This infinitive phrase is acting like a now direct object. So the now clause, whoever was willing to pose for her is the indirect object of the same word. Third, a now clause can also serve as a subject complement. It modifies, describes, or completes the subject of a clause. For example, John's problem was that he did not practice enough. Harry's crowning achievement at school was when he became past president. This now clauses that he did not practice enough, and when he became past president, provide more information about the subjects of their sentence. Next, a now clause also acts as objects of a preposition. In the examples below, each of these sentences could be complete before the addition of a prepositions for and about. However, the prepositions are introduced to provide further detail and the now clauses what they decided to do and 
How other new products will be promoted on YouTube act as the objects of these prepositions? And the last one, a noun clause can also function as an adjective complement. For example, it is very disappointing that you left the party early. They are perfectly happy where they live now. Similar to the examples containing prepositions, each of these sentences could be complete after the adjective disappointing and happy. This adjective complement, sorry, okay, uh, the adjective complements provide further detail. Okay, everyone, after we know what is the clause, related clause, and now clause, we have Kahoot game to help you practice more about, about these topics, okay? And we have sent the link of Kahoot in chat box. Please click the link and join this pin. Okay. Two zero seven four one five and two. Okay, just remember that we just practice together. Okay, hurry up, everyone. Okay. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds left, okay, to join our Kahoot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, let's start. Yes, Mr. Shizuoka won a free trip anywhere. He blank to go to Brazil. Okay, choose your base answer. Okay, let's see why the answer of this one is would choose. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to see what the question gives to us. It gives the conditional clause, right? So we need to find out what is the title of this conditional sentence by analyzing the, the sentence of the conditional clause. And we saw that the verb one, this one, is the past simple tense, right? So that when the conditional clause uses the past simple tense, it can be type two conditional or mixed type conditional. But for this sentence, it shows the hypothetical condition, this one, and its probable result. So we use type two conditional. And can you remember the form of type two conditional? If plus simple pass for the conditional clause and would plus the infinitive for the main clause. So that the correct answer is would choose. Okay, next one. If the marketing team succeeds, they blank their profit by 20%. Okay, choose your right answer. Okay, the correct answer is will increase. Okay, this one also gives the conditional clause, right? And the tense of it is present simple tense. 
when the conditional clause used the present simple tense, it can be zero conditional type or have unconditional. But for this sentence, it shows the possible condition and its probable result so that we use type one conditional. And the form of type one conditional is if present simple tense for the conditional clause and future symbol for the main clause. So that the form of future symbol is will increase so that the answer is will increase. Okay, next one. Wow. Okay, next. Blank, white. I would have taken the letter plane and left the meeting. Okay, choose your base answer. Okay, the correct answer is um, I been I had been okay, and this one gives the main clause and the form of it is would have plus the past participle. It can be type three conditional or mixed conditional, but for this sentence, it shows the unreal past condition and its probable result in the past. So we use type three conditional. And the form of type the conditional is past perfect. Can you remember the form of past perfect? Had plus past participle and would have plus past participle. Okay, and for the next one. The kitchen staff blank void here are all agency staff on temporary contract. Choose the way that best fits into the bank. All right, good job. The correct answer is who because the relative pronoun who stands for people and substitutes for the subject now, the kitchen staff but other choices don't refer to people. Next, please. The bistro blank. We had lunch last week had just been closed by health inspectors. Choose your best answer. Perfect. Uh, the correct answer is where. Uh, the bistro means a small restaurant. It is a place. And we have only one relative advert that refers to a place. So the correct answer is where. Next. Oh, wow, we are halfway there. Keep it up, you guys. What is the name of hotel blank? You recommended I stay at when visiting Tokyo. What is the correct answer? Good job. Uh, the subject is, uh, the subject of this sentence is the name because the prepositional place of the hotel it is a modifier of the subject now. And the name is a non-human now. So the possible answers are relative pronouns that or which. But there's no a choice which. So the correct answer is choice that. Next, please. Almost done. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, a contract blank has not yet been confirmed by the management will have no legal standing even if its term have been agreed to by an employee. Oh, so fast. Uh, good job. Uh, a contract is a non-human now, so the correct answer is which because a relative pronoun which refers to a thing 
Next, please. Okay, in the hotel industry, well trained and experienced staff can quickly determine black guest need. So, which one is the right answer? Okay, great, everyone. From all of the choices, the answer is what? Because the meaning is appropriate for this sentence and the noun clause, what guests need, is an object of a verb. Okay, next question, please. The question is, the staff understands blank the common defense for corporate activities cannot be dispersed without prior approval from a director. So what is the answer? Wow, wonderful. The question, uh, the answer for this, this question is that because uh, it's appropriate for the sentence and the noun clause that the company funds for corporate activities, blah, 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 is a subject complement. Okay, let's go to the last question. And the last question is, the head of accounting suggests that the vice president consult the company's lawyer as she would know blank to do about a legal problem. Okay, let's choose your best answer for our last question. Okay, wonderful, everyone are right. The answer is what? Because the meaning is also appropriate for this sentence. And the noun class, what to do about a legal problem is an object of a verb. So who is our winner? The third place is Black Mamba, good job. And the second place is EE1, so good. And the first place is M. Wow, everyone did a great job, so wonderful. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Please enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your presentation today, right? So I hope you guys understand, right? So the main, you know, aspect of the grammar part here is all about clauses, right? Relative clauses, now clauses, or even conditional sentences, or if clauses here. Yep. So I hope you guys enjoy, right? And everyone understands, understand it properly. And I hope that you can do the test, uh, especially when it comes to do the grammar test here. All right, so we need to do listening test first. Okay, part four here. I fang yo ya, welcome. Me mi lai hap fang kan vela na hai. Tang chai fang ka di na hai hap, ta wa fang phen phen ka mai worry na. One, two, three. Go. Part four. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. And here is this evening's traffic update. It's summertime, and because the weather has been so good, there are a lot of construction projects going on. You can expect delays on most local roads, except for Highway 165, where traffic is running smoothly. Remember to tune in to Radio WTZ for regular traffic updates. Number 71. According to the speaker, why are delays expected? Number 72. What does the speaker say about Highway 165?
Number 73. What are listeners reminded to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Ms. Nakasone. This is Rob from Apartment Maintenance. You had reported a problem with your heater and requested that we send a service person out there to look at it. Because the heater's already more than 25 years old, we've decided to replace the unit instead of trying to repair it again. So please give me a call back so we can schedule a time to install the new heater. And I think you'll be pleased with it. It's an energy efficient appliance and it will probably save you about 20% on your electric bill each month. Number 74. Where most likely does the man work? Number 75. Why does the speaker ask the listener to return the phone call? Number 76. Why does the speaker think the listener will be pleased? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to this year's South Glen Film Festival. Our first event is an interview with renowned movie director Edgar Rollins. Mr. Rollins' latest movie, The Rose Thorn, premiered here last week. The film has caught the attention of audiences and critics because it's very different from the director's previous films. It's a comedy. After the interview, Mr. Rollins has kindly agreed to stay for a few minutes to answer questions from the audience, so I hope you'll join us for that. Number 77. Who is Edgar Rollins? Number 78. Why is Edgar Rollins's new project receiving a lot of attention? Number 79. What will listeners be able to do after the interview? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Rachel. It's Maria Rodriguez from the Natural History Museum. I'm just calling to let you know that all of us on the museum board enjoyed meeting you yesterday and were very impressed by your experience and references. I'm pleased to be able to offer you the job as the museum's assistant curator. I've emailed an official offer letter to you, along with a few other forms. If you could fill out the forms and send them back to me by email, we can get started right away. Just so you know, I'll be busy giving tours all the rest of this afternoon, but if you have any questions, I'll be available to speak with you tomorrow. Welcome aboard. Number 80. What is the purpose of the message? Number 81. What should the listener do? Number 82. What will the speaker do in the afternoon? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to announce the winner of this year's Innovative Employee Award. This year's winner is Seth Friedman, who received a master's degree in business administration from the Westcott Business School with a specialization in marketing strategy. He then went on to found our first overseas office in Shanghai with great success. Because of our new location overseas, business has been better than ever. As you know, Mr. Friedman recently accepted the position of vice president of marketing here in our New York location. Without further ado, I am delighted to present this award to Mr. Seth Friedman. Number 83. What is the purpose of the talk?
Number 84. What did Mr. Friedman do in Shanghai? Number 85. What is Mr. Friedman's current position? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Dr. Mitchell. This is Harry calling from Denton's Pharmacy. One of your patients, Andrea Waldorf, dropped off a prescription that you wrote her, but I can't make out the handwriting. Could you please send me a typed prescription? I want to make sure I have the medication name and dosage information correct. The phone number here at Denton's is 555-0110. Please call me before 8 p.m. since that's when we close. Thanks. Number 86. Who is the message intended for? Number 87. What is the problem? Number 88. What time does Denton's close today? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following radio advertisement. On July 9th, Q&P Outdoor Equipment is celebrating 30 years of selling sports equipment here in Midvale. To thank all our loyal customers, we're holding an anniversary celebration all day at the store. This celebration event will include free food, live demonstrations, and sports equipment training. And when you come to the store, don't forget to pick up a free ticket for the raffle contest. Q&P will be giving away hundreds of dollars worth of products and equipment to guests who enter the raffle. Number 89. What kind of business is Q&P? Number 90. What is being advertised? Number 91. What does the speaker recommend listeners do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. On behalf of Meadowbrook Technologies, I'd like to welcome you all to the company. We're happy to have you join our workforce community. My name is Candace, and I'm going to take you around the building so you can become familiar with our various departments and facilities. As you may have already noticed, the security desk is located here at the entrance, and you are required to show your ID badge when entering at all times. Past the lobby is a hallway that will take you to the dining hall and restrooms. Let's walk over there now, and I can show you what our cafeteria has to offer. Number 92. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 93. What must listeners do when entering the building? Number 94. What will listeners most likely do next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following news report. And now in local news. Hillside's longtime mayor, Richard Suarez, has announced his retirement from city politics. He said he would not seek re election in the fall and instead plans to teach courses at a local university. Residents have expressed concerns about who will serve as Mayor Suarez's replacement. Some predict that Deputy Mayor Janice Feldman will run for office. Number 95. What is being announced?
Number 96. What does Richard Suarez plan to do in the future? Number 97. What is said about Janice Feldman? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Just one more thing before our meeting is over. I'd like to inform you of the measures our department will be taking to reduce the amount of paper we use. We've identified two main areas where we're using more paper than necessary. First, in mailing customers' receipts, and second, in circulating memos around the office. In both of these areas, I'd like us to begin sending electronic copies through email instead. These changes go into effect next Monday. At the end of the first month, I'll be sending you an update on how much paper our conservation project has saved. Number 98. What is the department trying to do? Number 99. What solution does the speaker provide? Number 100. What will happen in a month? Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. And here is this evening's traffic update. It's summertime, and because the weather has been so good, there are a lot of construction projects going on. You can expect delays on most local roads, except for Highway 165, where traffic is running smoothly. Remember to tune in to Radio WTZ for regular traffic updates. Number 71. According to the speaker, why are delays expected? Number 72. What does the speaker say about Highway 165? Number 73. What are listeners reminded to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Ms. Nakasone. This is Rob from Apartment Maintenance. You had reported a problem with your heater and requested that we send a service person out there to look at it. Because the heater's already more than 25 years old, we've decided to replace the unit instead of trying to repair it again. So please give me a call back so we can schedule a time to install the new heater. And I think you'll be pleased with it. It's an energy efficient appliance and it will probably save you about 20% on your electric bill each month. Number 74. Where most likely does the man work? Number 75. Why does the speaker ask the listener to return the phone call? Number 76. Why does the speaker think the listener will be pleased? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to this year's South Glen Film Festival. Our first event is an interview with renowned movie director Edgar Rollins. Mr. Rollins' latest movie, The Rose Thorn, premiered here last week. The film has caught the attention of audiences and critics because it's very different from the director's previous films. It's a comedy. After the interview, Mr. Rollins has kindly agreed to stay for a few minutes to answer questions from the audience, so I hope you'll join us for that. Number 77. Who is Edgar Rollins? Number 78. 
Number 78. Why is Edgar Rollins's new project receiving a lot of attention? Number 79. What will listeners be able to do after the interview? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Rachel. It's Maria Rodriguez from the Natural History Museum. I'm just calling to let you know that all of us on the museum board enjoyed meeting you yesterday, and we're very impressed by your experience and references. I'm pleased to be able to offer you the job as the museum's assistant curator. I've emailed an official offer letter to you, along with a few other forms. If you could fill out the forms and send them back to me by email, we can get started right away. Just so you know, I'll be busy giving tours all the rest of this afternoon, but if you have any questions, I'll be available to speak with you tomorrow. Welcome aboard. Number 80. What is the purpose of the message? Number 81. What should the listener do? Number 82. What will the speaker do in the afternoon? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to announce the winner of this year's Innovative Employee Award. This year's winner is Seth Friedman, who received a master's degree in business administration from the Westcott Business School with a specialization in marketing strategy. He then went on to found our first overseas office in Shanghai with great success. Because of our new location overseas, business has been better than ever. As you know, Mr. Friedman recently accepted the position of vice president of marketing here in our New York location. Without further ado, I am delighted to present this award to Mr. Seth Friedman. Number 83. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 84. What did Mr. Friedman do in Shanghai? Number 85. What is Mr. Friedman's current position? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Dr. Mitchell. This is Harry calling from Denton's Pharmacy. One of your patients, Andrea Waldorf, dropped off a prescription that you wrote her, but I can't make out the handwriting. Could you please send me a typed prescription? I want to make sure I have the medication name and dosage information correct. The phone number here at Denton's is 555-0110. Please call me before 8 p.m. since that's when we close. Thanks. Number 86. Who is the message intended for? Number 87. What is the problem? Number 88. What time does Denton's close today? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following radio advertisement. On July 9th, Q&P Outdoor Equipment is celebrating 30 years of selling sports equipment here in Midvale. To thank all our loyal customers, we're holding an anniversary celebration all day at the store. This celebration event will include free food, live demonstrations, and sports equipment training. 
And when you come to the store, don't forget to pick up a free ticket for the raffle contest. Q&P will be giving away hundreds of dollars worth of products and equipment to guests who enter the raffle. Number 89. What kind of business is Q&P? Number 90. What is being advertised? Number 91. What does the speaker recommend listeners do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. On behalf of Meadowbrook Technologies, I'd like to welcome you all to the company. We're happy to have you join our workforce community. My name is Candace, and I'm going to take you around the building so you can become familiar with our various departments and facilities. As you may have already noticed, the security desk is located here at the entrance, and you are required to show your ID badge when entering at all times. Past the lobby is a hallway that will take you to the dining hall and restrooms. Let's walk over there now, and I can show you what our cafeteria has to offer. Number 92. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 93. What must listeners do when entering the building? Number 94. What will listeners most likely do next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following news report. And now in local news. Hillside's longtime mayor, Richard Suarez, has announced his retirement from city politics. He said he would not seek re election in the fall and instead plans to teach courses at a local university. Residents have expressed concerns about who will serve as Mayor Suarez's replacement. Some predict that Deputy Mayor Janice Feldman will run for office. Number 95. What is being announced? Number 96. What does Richard Suarez plan to do in the future? Number 97. What is said about Janice Feldman? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Just one more thing before our meeting is over. I'd like to inform you of the measures our department will be taking to reduce the amount of paper we use. We've identified two main areas where we're using more paper than necessary. First, in mailing customers' receipts, and second, in circulating memos around the office. In both of these areas, I'd like us to begin sending electronic copies through email instead. These changes go into effect next Monday, at the end of the first month, I'll be sending you an update on how much paper our conservation project has saved. Number 98. What is the department trying to do? Number 99. What solution does the speaker provide? Number 100. What will happen in a month? All right. Uh, let me break. Let me break. Let me break. Let me break. Let me so see you at 45, everybody. Are you okay? Yes, go ahead.
โอเคยังอยู่ไหมฮะต้องเรียนแล้วแหละนะครับ read on reading นะครับวันนี้เดี๋ยวขอดูก่อนนะว่าต้องทำอะไรบ้างทอล์กเรามานั่งทอล์กก่อนไหมหนึ่งใครอยากอ่านไหมครับอ่าขอคนอ่านนิดนึง <coughs> อ่านนะครับฝึกไปนะครับขั้นเาเอ่อขั้นเวลานะฮะก่อนไปทำ reading นะฮะวอลเลนเชียได้นะยูหนูก็ได้ค่ะมาเลย one two three go May I have your attention, please? Flight 43 from Caracas, scheduled for departure at 5, has been delayed. It is now scheduled to depart two hours later than the original, originally scheduled time. In the meantime, all ticketed passengers for Flight 43 to Caracas are invited to enjoy a complimentary meal in the Skyview restaurant. To receive your meal ticket, please show your boarding pass to the gate agent. Any passengers wishing to be rebooked on a different flight are asked to approach the ticket office on the side of the main lounge. You will be asked to pick up your suitcases from the baggage claim area and recheck them when receiving your new boarding pass. Perfect. นั่นเองนะครับอ่าปรบมือให้เพื่อนได้นะอ่ะขั้นเวลานะครับ Talk เนี่ยสำคัญนะครับเมื่อกี้ฟังฟังไปแล้วอาจจะฟังไม่ทันก็มาพูดใหม่นั่นเองนะ All right, next one. ใครอยากพูดครับใครอยากอ่านอ่านให้ฟังได้นะครับ Call center ของเราเดี๋ยวหนูอ่านให้ฟังค่ะ I want to t r i g e r May Fire and Company, the area's newest, largest department store, will be celebrating its grand opening next Saturday. Don't miss the once in a lifetime event. Free food entertainment for the whole family will be provided. Take advantage of deep discounts on items in all store departments' home furnishings, office supplies, garden supplies, clothing, and more. Discounts will be in effect for one day only. This event will be held rain or shine from um from eight in the morning until eight in the evening. Free parking will be available all day, so come on down. May Flower and Company is just ten minutes from downtown, across the road from City Mall. All right. Thank you so much for your reading out loud here. อ่ะทำต่อนะฮะไม่รอใครใครพร้อมเปิดไม้ได้เลยนะฮะช็อตท็อปนัมเบอร์ทรีวอลเลนเชียร์ครับผมมาเลยค่ะโอเควันที่สี่ครับ Road conditions are dangerous out there, folks. So stay home and don't drive anywhere unless absolutely necessary. This morning, snowfall has already led to a seven-car accident near the train station. Schools are closed, and many business are as well. Snow is expected to continue falling throughout the afternoon and evening. The temperatures will remain chilly. The skies should start clearing toward morning, and tomorrow should be sunny and a good bit warmer. Wow! Thank you so much. Next one, I have. Ah, uh, when you talk talk to you, no, no, my worry. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, so talk number four. Who wanna be volunteer here? เปิดไม่ได้นะกว่าจะเจอ reading นะครับอ่ะช็อปท็อปไปก่อนนะครับรันไปก่อนวันนี้คนน้อยนะเนี่ยเขาอ่านอีกรอบได้ไหมคะขอบคุณค่ะโอเค The city center theater announced that Smith Brothers Circus is coming to town next month. The circus will be performing at the theater during the first week of August with two shows daily at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are just 
$15 each and are available by calling 800-964-8434. Smith Brothers Circus will also be giving away a limited number of free tickets. To request your free ticket, simply send a postcard to the Smith Brother in care of the theater. Include your name and address and a brief statement explaining why you love the circus. It could be one of the 25 lucky winners. Wow. Thank you so much, so much, friend. Moving to next one. I have when you get mad and I have told me about my being sick today. Yeah. Right, next one, top, top number five here. <clears throat> Who want to be volunteer? Oh, talk a day hard. Hello, one, two, three. <laughs> the Riverside Park Elementary School was destroyed by fire last night. The fire was first reported by Isa Rogers, owner of the corner bookstore located on the same block. As Miss Rogers was leaving the store around nine, she noted smoke rising out of the school building building and immediately notified authorities. Firefighters arrived on scene within minutes and worked for five hours to put out a blaze. Fortunately, there were no injuries. All the school children and school staff had left the building several hours before the fire was noticed. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Good, perfect. Now you have uh, move, cut, move. We have to do the reading again. Short talk number six here. Who want to be volunteers? Just raise your hand and then open up microphone. That's it. I have I have one to three. Attention passengers. Train fifty six to Toronto will begin boarding in three min three minutes at gate ten. Our passenger for train fifty six to Toronto. Please approach gate 10 now. First class passengers are asked to line up to the right of the gate and all other passengers to the left. This is an all reserved train. Only passenger with reserved seat will be permitted to board. Please have a form of photo identification such as a passport of or driver license ready to show to the gate agent when you board. Also, Please be aware that each passenger is allowed just one item of carry-on luggage, exclusive of code and purses. Good, thank you so much. Perfect, Mark. Now have all right. Moving to next one, Kayapur. Now have Dailer. Shut top number seven here. <clears throat> เหลืออีกเจ็ดแปดเก้าสิบสิบเอ็ดอ่าอีกห้าคนเนี่ยบอกคนเก่าก็ได้นะนะเอ่อใครชอบพูดนะครับเปิดไมค์รอเลยดี
ขออนุญาตค่ะบาเลย one two three go The president met with world leaders in the capital city this afternoon to discuss the current economic situation. He will speak about the issues discussed at the meeting when he addressed the nation on TV tonight. Tomorrow, he flies to Tokyo, where he will begin his three-week tour of Asia and Australia to promote his international economic program. After his return home, he will prepare for the international conference on the environment to take place next month. Thank you so much. Um, speak speak out loud here. Ah, สุดท้ายแล้วครับ Short top ten here. ใครอยากเป็น volunteer เปิดไมรอเลยนะ Crush. สุดต่อก็ได้ค่ะ Hello, one, two, three, go. <laughs> All job seekers need a good strategy. The first thing to consider is where to look for jobs. In the past, people relied on newspaper ads. University career counseling offices and employment agencies for job leads. These things still exist, but the best place to look for jobs is on internet. It provides the most current and the widest range of job opportunities of all sorts. Online, you can find job listings in all fields, from edu education to medicine to engineering. There is something for everyone. When applying for a job, you need to have a good resume prepared. It is your most important tool, more important even than interview skills, university degrees, or work experience. It is the image you present. All right. Thank you so much for all of you, and thank you for your active participation here. นะครับไม่มีอะไรครับก็คือให้ฝึกฝึกพูดนะครับเผื่อบางคนอยากเป็น PR. หรือว่าแอสจูดนะครับต้องฝึกพูดนั่นเองนะ alright move เลยด้วยกันนะครับอ่ะก่อนไปทำ reading นะครับ so I'm going to check um it's not a check um you can check yourself right before you do the practice test together just because it is very important to make sure that you got something or you know like essential information or main idea here right so First of all, just list A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? And then just type if you complete it. I mean, um, if you're confident you can do it, just type what. Um, this is this is all about like um, a checklist, right? Okay, so just uh, check. I have check by. Ah, uh, A, B, C, my. I have. We think we are okay. Got the one. I have. Pim, come on. พิมพ์ทุกเลขก็ได้นะครับ A B C D E F G See cat. Look up words you don't understand. Context word. หลายเลขก็ได้นะครับหมายถึงว่าให้ checklist มาว่าเรา cover หรือว่าเรา complete อะไรได้บ้างนะครับ Let's say ว่า A warm up your brain with comprehension. ตัวนี้คือดึงความเข้าใจถ้าเราโอเคแล้วก็ tick ถูกนะครับก็พิมพ์ A เข้ามาได้ Okay. Write as you Read or summarize the main idea. So, we'll catch the main idea. We'll get the truth. Right? Ah, I'm going to write it. Right? It's like this. It's an individual. So, we don't have to depend. Right? Look up words you don't understand or contextual words. Ask question with WS question. So it means that you have to cover what, when, where, why, how. Right? Or detail specific information. Look for answers. And reading strategy like skimming, scanning, or try to find the main idea, turn chapter titles, headings, uh, things like that. And the last one would be understand what you are reading, inference or implication here. Ah, มานี้นะครับเดี๋ยวเราไปเช็คลิสต์เอง
เพิ่มก็ได้นะไม่ worry alright ทีนี้ไปที่ reading ดีกว่าครับอย่าให้เวลาอ่านนะครับให้เวลาอ่านสองนาทีนะครับอย่าอาจจะถามนะอ่ะนะครับดึง comprehension ก่อนเลยนะครับอันดับแรกเลยเราต้องหา MI หรือว่า main idea ให้ได้ก่อนนะฮะ so what you need to uh, first glance for the first paragraph is that um, what is the purpose of this email is that right dear Mr. blah 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 I'm writing on behalf of uh huh Clover who I understand recently applied for a research analyst position with blah 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 Employ similar capacity with our firm for over five years, as her supervisor throughout that time have found her to be a model employee and valuable colleague to work with. As such, I highly recommend her for a position with your company. So, what is the main purpose for the first paragraph? Uh, I mean, I did got that. Why did they write it? ใครได้คำตอบแล้วพิมพ์เข้ามาเลยนะครับให้โฟกัสที่ as such I highly recommend her for a position with your company อันนี้ถือว่าเป็น main point นะครับสำหรับ paragraph แรกเพราะฉะนั้นคำตอบคือหาเว็บแท็กก่อนเลยเราทุกคนพิมพ์คำว่า recommend ครับผมอ่ะเราพิมพ์คำว่า recommend นิดนึงเก่งมาก recommend เข้ามาครับให้ครบกี่คนเดียววันนี้อ่าวันนี้คนน้อยนะครับหยุดยาวไม่ worry recommend เข้ามาให้หมดนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นได้ไปแล้วนะครับ main verb here for the first paragraph it means that you need to understand that just because uh he or she want to recommend someone to a position or available position right so it means that just Highly recommend. So the main verb here would be recommend someone to someone else. That's it. ดีมากครับอ่า recommend เข้ามานะครับเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าเกิดว่าเราเราได้ main idea เนี่ยเราจะเร็วขึ้นนะครับแต่ว่าต้องต้องต้องละเอียดนิดนึงนะครับเพราะ reading ก็ time consuming กับ critical thinking ต้องมานะ Alright, next one นะครับทีนี้เอ่อคำถามก็คือว่า A list glover. Let me tell my idea about me. I'll check that. Hey, we list out, man. I have one. Miss Mrs. Glover. I have Glover. Yeah. How do you know? Bang. How do you know? Bang. Okay. เพราะฉะนั้นต้องดู paragraph ที่2นะอยู่นะครับลอง list มาครับว่า qualification ของเขาเป็นไงบ้างอ
Let's say นะครับ verb ตัวแรกที่เราต้องดูก็คือว่าเป็นไง Gathering research data, performing analysis using software. นั่นหมายว่าเขามีประสบการณ์ตรงกับ software. Is that right? Software. แล้วก็ให้เราพิมพ์คำว่าพิมพ์คำว่าอะไรดี Software แล้วกันอ่ะ Software มาก่อน Software ไปแล้วหนึ่งนะครับ Okay. It means that she used to work or be capable of um, software, right? Uh, analysis using software, things like that. And then another thing is that she is excellent of communication. So you can say communication. Ah, uh, พิมพ์คำว่า communication นิดหนึ่งครับ Software ไปละ communication ต่ออ่าเฮ้เก่งมากพิมพ์นิดหนึ่งนะจะได้ดึง comprehension จริงๆแล้วเราต้องอ่านไวไวมากแต่ว่าต้องพยายามสอนให้เรา hit to the point นิดหนึ่งนะครับแล้วตัวสุดท้ายที่เขามีน่าจะเป็น uh, teamwork อ่ะพิมพ์คำว่า teamwork เข้ามาอ๋อไรท์ทีมเวิร์กนะครับอ่าได้พอยต์ไปแล้วทีมเวิร์กดับเซตนะครับดังนั้นตอบเข้ามาครับผมไม่มีอะไรละ so my first question so the first question for this reading is that why did Mr. Pearson write the letter so I just mentioned the main idea here already right so you just focus on the main verb set to ask to submit to recommend or even to gather so the answer may go for สี่แคทอ่ะทุกคนพิมพ์สีนิดนึงครับสี่แล้วแหละนะเบอร์นี้ละสี่สี่ให้ครบครับภาษาสี่ alright สี่เข้ามานะครับ uh, and then the second question is that what is not mentioned about Mr. Glover เมื่อกี้เราไล่ไปแล้วถูกไหมครับมีอะไรบ้างเอ่ยซอฟต์แวร์ใช่ปะ effective communication and then Teamwork. Ah, long line check. Cap is not mentioned here. It's all about like a detail, right? Detail information or specific information. So what you need to do is that you need to read carefully and try to backward and reword from the passage first in order to make sure that you can get the right answer here. คำตอบลงไปที่ B boy. ทุกคนพิมพ์ B นิดนึงครับ B ให้ครบครับจะได้ปิดจอบสำหรับ passage นี้อ่าคร่าวๆไม่มีอะไรครับนะฮะปัญหาคือต้องอ่านเร็วนิดนึงครับทุกคนมีเวลาแค่หนึ่งถึงสองนาทีในการฟินนิชนะถ้าถ้าต้องไปสอบสอบจริงนะแต่ว่าสอบอินคลาสก็กลางกลางนะครับยังพอมีเวลาอัลไรท์ thank you so much for your typing here so the answer may go for C cat and B boy that's it bye ครับให้เวลาอ่านก่อนครับสองนาทีเดี๋ยวจะถาม All right, นะครับเขาเล่นเทียสักสองคนสิเราทำเอ่อ conversation ก่อนดีกว่าเพราะเป็น text message นั่นเองนะฮะใครอยากอ่านครับมี Sharon Van กับ Enrico
หนูขออ่านค่ะต้องหาพาร์ทเนอร์อีกคนหนึ่งครับเดี๋ยวหนูอ่านอีกคนได้ค่ะได้ครับโอเคอันนั้นก็เลือกมานะครใครจะเป็นเชรอนใครจะเป็นเอนริคเขาไปเลยครับวันชูทริกเกอร์หนูเป็นเชรอนให้นะคะโอเค I saw your advertisement for a mini van in the paper this morning. I've been looking for something that sides. Is it still available? Is it? Are you interested in seeing it and taking a test drive? I live at uh two two three zero Sawyer Avenue, which is just south of Broad Street. Oh, my apartment is near by in Madison Heights on Fen Street. Are you in now? I can walk over and meet you at your place in about fifteen minutes. I'm actually at the supermarket on Bird Avenue now, but I should be home within thirty minutes. Okay, I'll be there at ten thirty if that works for you. Yeah, do. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. ทีนี้คําถามคือว่าไอ้เอ่อ Sharon เนี่ยเขาหาอะไรอยู่ครับเขาต้องการอะไรเอ่ยนี่มีคนพิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วต้องการหานี่ mini van เก่งมากอ่ะทุกคนพิมพ์คําว่า mini van เข้ามานะครับ Mini van, mini van, นะครับต้องการหารถนั่นเอง That's it. ทีนี้นะครับสรุป mini van มีไหมแล้วก็ action plan เขานัดไปที่ไหนต้องหาก่อน specify location ก่อนนะว่านัดไปไหนนี่นะครับเฮ้ยมีสองที่นะครับ Enrico Home Enrico Homes My apartment is nearby Madison High Madison High on Finn Street เขาจะไปไหนอ่ะหาก่อนแป๊บนึงแล้วก็เขาบอกว่า I'm actually at the supermarket นะครับ Avenue สรุปไปบ้านใครดี Low best place นั่นเองนะครับเก่งมากทุกคนพิมพ์คำว่า low best place ก็ได้หรือว่า Enrico low best นะครับ Alright ทีนี้เขา agree ไหมฮะ Yes or no Agree on is that right Agree อ่ะทุกคนพิมพ์ agreed นะ agreed เติม ed นิดหนึ่งนะ Alright ถ้าได้แล้วก็ต้องไปทำโจทย์แล้วล่ะนะครับอ่ะลองทำดูนะครับ Alright so so for question number three here what most likely Mr. One Days want want to do or want to do this A look at some minivan at the dealership B try out vehicle that is for sale that is for sale is that right and then send A payment for a van purchase. Pick up some mean mechanical test result. Top one idea. Eva, look at some mini vans at the dealership. Try out the one long. Send payment. ก็ต้องเป็น look at แล้วแหละนะครับอ่ะง่ายๆครับทุกคนพิมพ์ a a ยกเศษ a a a and then a that's it. ไปครับ b e r c y b e r c y ใช่ So question number four. What does Mr. Lopez mean when he writes does that will do that I do right? He, a he's satisfied fit a buyer offer. He's completed all of his errands. He's available at that specific time, and then he's 
soon that Rekka works. Bảo cái này đi hả? A và C. Mì con mì C đúng rồi. À lòng lai này hả? That will do. Này thì này tao phải lai yon này hả? Cứ khao khen nát. ใช่ไหมเวลานี้เพราะฉะนั้นคือ agree ในแง่ของ specific time เพราะฉะนั้นตอบ C cat ครับทุกคน C เข้ามาครับ that said นะ C ให้ครบยากไม่เอ่ยไม่ยากนะคร่าวๆก็ประมาณนี้ทรงเดียวๆกันโอเคนะประมาณนี้นะครับ text message หรือว่า text change ก็ประมาณนี้อันนี้เราทำไปแล้วรู้สึกนะวิธีแล้วปะแค่เงินสกิปไปเลยแล้วกันนะครับจำคำตอบได้ปะอ่ะทำหน้านี้ต่อแล้วกันให้เวลาอยู่อ่านนะครับสองนาทีเดี๋ยวจะอ่ะเดี๋ยวจะถามโอเคนะครับอ่าทีนี้ทุกคนโฟกัสที่ paragraph แรกก่อนนะครับเอ่อ purpose main purpose ของเจ้าตัว ad ตัวนี้เนี่ยหรือว่าข้อมูลตรงนี้คืออะไรครับลองหา verb tag ก่อนนะอันนั้น environmental campaign ใช่ไหมทุกคนพิมพ์ announce environmental campaign ยาวนิดหนึ่งนะดีมากครับเก่งมากเลยนะครับอันนี้คือเป็นเมนเมนพอยต์ที่เราต้องจับให้ได้นะครับ alright announce environmental campaign เข้ามาเลยนะครับ that said ทีนี้ลองไล่ดีเทลนิดหนึ่งนะครับทุกคนพิมพ์เข้ามาได้ครับพิมพ์เข้ามาเลย um, recycling for beginners Wednesday April 2nd cleaning the natural way Wednesday April 9 9 right and then Uh, becoming road safety Wednesday April 16. เพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยแต่ละโปรเจกต์แต่ละวันไม่ไม่เหมือนกันนะครับทีนี้ลองไล่เช็คที่ Wednesday. Um, sorry, recycling for beginners ก่อนนะครับเขาทำอะไรเอ่ยวันพุทธที่สองเนี่ยทำอะไรเด็คำตอบก็คือ lecture 
ทุกคนพิมพ์คำว่า lecture ครับผม lecture นิดนึงอ่ะ lecture เข้ามาครับ a lecture คือบรรยายพูดไปพูดไปแล้วนะครับมาเนี้ cleaning the natural way คืออะไรเดี๋ยวลองบอกนะอืม <Sanly> ทีนี้จุดที่น่าสนใจก็คือว่า Wednesday April 9นะครับที่เป็น Cleaning Natural Way เนี่ยเราต้องมีอะไรด้วยครับถ้าจะไป attend เนี่ยต้องมีอะไรครับอ่า spray bottle right good spray bottle right yeah พิมพ์เข้ามาเลยครับสุดยอดนะและสุดท้ายขอบปิดอีกนิดนึงครับอยู่ becoming rope s e r v e คืออะไรเด็อันนี้เป็น discussion นะครับเป็น discussion นั่นเองนะครับอ่าพิมพ์คำว่า discussion นิดหนึ่งเพราะฉะนั้นพอเราไล่เนี่ยพยายามอ่าดึงตัวที่มัน point-point ก่อนเราจะได้เร็วขึ้นนะครับแต่จริงๆแล้วเนี่ยบาง passage ที่เป็น2021ก็จะ detail เพิ่มขึ้นเพราะฉะนั้นเราต้องฝึก reading ให้ได้นะ let's say อ่าไปทำโจทย์ดีกว่าครับ what is the primary reason for this event ไล่ครับผม A To raise awareness about environmental concerns, to collect funds for the local community center, a special meet and greet for new residents, m a n a g e to organize gathering collecting in this area. ตอบเพื่อนดีครับ A ทุกคนพิมพ์ A ครับ A ยกเสกนะครับ A นี่ต้องพิมพ์ชัดๆนะครับเดี๋ยวหลุด A ก็หมายครับอ่า A ให้ครบนะครับ So moving to next question here, why might participants to the April night event need an empty container? เฮ้ยทำไมต้องพกตัวนั้น to fill with drinking water to donate the center to hold what they produce like a to donate to the speaker? ลองไล่เช็คครับผม Question and answer. Long way too. Mm-hmm. Top car C cat. They have to hold what they produce. Nah. Clear. Now, everyone, pim C. Come on, a little. Uh huh. A, B, and then C. สี่ครับนะครับอีกสักข้อหนึ่งครับมา what is not true the lecture of the lecture series a there is a small change for admission the lectures will be held mid week and then the event has not taken place before so it is being held in community center เพราะฉะนั้นเราต้องโฟกัสที่ lecture ครับลองไล่เช็ค Alright. Free event. Personal may day some more. Nay have. Top corner. อ่า
สังเกตนะครับ lecture will be held mid week ก็ถูกแล้วถูกไหม mid week ในที่นี้คือวันพุธก็ Wednesday every Wednesday that's it big two event has not taken place before เพราะว่าเขาบอกว่า first ever environmental campaign it means that the first one ever is that right community center location chat นะครับ take place t community center คำตอบลงไปที่ a ครับ a ยกเสร็จพิมพ์เข้ามาครับ a a a that's it พอได้นะครับอ่าไม่ยากไม่ยากแต่วันสอบคือต้องเร็วเท่านั้นเองอีกนิดหนึ่งนะอยู่ก่อนไปทำเอ่อ what is that ก่อนไปทำ vocab นะครับลองอ่านตัวนี้นิดหนึ่งนะให้เวลาอ่านสองนาทีนะครับเอ่อหัวของมันบอกว่า bright and e l l e n llp personal injury lawyers Alright. ทีนี้เราอ่านพารากราฟหัวของมันปุ๊บนะฮะสาเหตุที่ทำให้เกิด accident หรือว่า injury คืออะไรครับ cause ของมันคือเราต้องหาคำว่า cause ก่อน cause อยู่ตรงไหนเนี่ยตรงนี้ปะ cause by derived malfunction right เก่งมากดีมาก malfunction right That's it. Ah, pim ka mai hap. Right, the right ka dai malfunction. Right ka dai, nai hap. ทีนี้ใครเป็นคนเขียนประกาศนี่ครับนะเราต้องอ่านหัวนิดหนึ่งใครอิชชูใครปล่อยประกาศเนี่ยอ
าบริทแอนด์เอลเลนเอลเอลพีเพอร์ซันแนลอินจูรีลอเยอร์หรือว่าเราเราเราดูจากข้างล่างก็ได้นะครับบริทแอนด์เอลเลนฟอร์ฟรีลีเกิลคอนซัลเทชันนั่นเองนะครับดีมากทุกคนพิมพ์เข้ามาครับพิมพ์คำว่าสั้นๆ LLP โอเค LLP เข้ามาครับ LLP เข้ามานิดหนึ่งลอยงลอยเยอร์นั่นเองนะครับและคำศัพท์น่าสนใจนะครับ Negligence ตัวนี้แปลว่าอะไรครับเพิกเฉยเก่งมาก Negligent ก็คือแบบประมาทนะครับ Uncareful ใช่ไหม Uncareful หรือว่าแบบลนเลอร์ That's it ครับ Moving to the next, uh, next question นะครับ Alright um, How were people at the park injured? A. They fell, fell off the right The right fell on them The right moved too quickly The right had broken seat belt. ตอบ C คัดนะครับอ่ะพิมพ์ C เข้ามาครับเก่งมากเพราะว่ามันจะมีคำว่า speed ใช่ป่ะลองไล่เช็คนะ I'm sorry เราเห็นคำว่า speed ป่ะ which control speed cause rider to be dropped at much faster than it considers safe that's it C คัดเข้ามาครับทีนี้ไปที่12 who has issued this notice A Amusement park operators, b-boy, law firms, law firm, they have state prosecutor, and then in your park visitor. That's it. Stop. What are d d o c injured park visitor. คำถามคือ who has issued? ใครปล่อย notice? เดี๋ยวนะใครปล่อย notice อะ notice นี่คือใครปล่อยดี b boy เก่งมากครับ law firm ครับทุกคนพิมพ์ว่า law firm นิดนึงเราจะได้ไม่ไม่สับสนนะครับ law firm นะครับเพราะว่าน่าจะมีคน report เข้ามาเยอะเขาก็เลยต้องปล่อยนี้ไปนะ let's say เป็นอย่างนั้นเพราะฉะนั้น comprehension มันจะ tricky นิดนึงต้องระวังหน่อยนะครับต้องแบบ careful นิดนึงอ่ะ the last question for today no that's okay that's okay alright negligence ตัวนี้แปลว่าอะไรลองไล่เช็คดูนะครับ B A failing to be careful enough refusing to pay attention demanding excessive money and then misunderstanding laws Failing to be careful enough. ต้องไปไล่เช็คตาม context นะครับโทษทีนะปั๊บมาฮะดูที่บรรทัดสุดท้าย In a subsequent and that the power operators were guilty of negligence. มีความผิดที่ negligence. ลองไล่เช็คครับผม Failing to be careful enough. Refusing to pay attention. Demanding excessive money, mean as I misunderstanding the law. Top one, I did. You can top A, huh? Lah. A or B? A. Gang, my hap. Took cold with A, my hap. Failing to be careful enough, nah. Ah, ring ring, and that the B, ah, it's just like like close to it, but it's not. Nah, it's not close. Nah, you have to be like. Not careful. It means negligent. That's it. A, ครับผมคำศัพท์ไหมไม่ไหวแล้วนะครับคำศัพท์ไหมคำศัพท์พิมพ์ X เข้ามาเลยใครจะไปทำคำศัพท์นะครับให้พิมพ์ X นะครับส่วนที่เหลือไปทำเป็นการบ้านได้นะอยู่ไม่ worry นะครับ
เออมันจะมีแพสเซจอีกอีกตัวหนึ่งแต่ให้เราไปฟีลแล้วกันเผื่อออกไม่เทิมนะครับไปลองไปไล่เช็คเองนะครับตามคอนเซ็ปที่เราเรียนเรียนมานะโอเคงั้นเราไปทําคําศัพท์ดีครับพิมพ์เอ็กซ์นิดนึงพิมพ์เอ็กซ์เข้ามาเลยอันนี้คือทิ้งไว้ให้มันดูแน่นๆในจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยจะว่าจะ cross ละแต่ว่าไม่เป็นไรเดี๋ยวให้เราไปฝึกทําเองแล้วกันนะไม่มีอะไรมากนะครับ that's it All right, so shall we start <laughs> recall vocabulary here, right? Um, so stationary, specified, spacious, subscribe, start, um, strategically, subsidiary, subsidize, right? And then chop tape, suitability, sus suspicious, and then surrounding. มาเลยครับ One, two, three, go. ใครใครได้คำศัพท์แล้วพิมพ์เข้ามาเลยนะครับวันนี้คนน้อยนะครับน่าจะรีบรีบจบได Uh, ใครที่พิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วนะครับบังคับยกมือนิดนึงแล้วก็ขอทีม present capture หน่อยนะครับแล้วก็พิมพ์ดันเข้ามาถ้าทุกคน feel เข้ามาแล้วยกมือขึ้นมาเลยนะครับใครที่ฟิลเข้ามาแล้วนะดอนฟอรี่แล้วก็ทีมพรีเซนต์สแตนบายแคปเจอร์นะครับเดี๋ยวรอเพื่อนพิมพ์เข้ามาให้ครบก่อนนะเดี๋ยวเราพิมพ์ดันเข้ามาพิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วยกมือเลยนะครับจะได้เช็คว่าเอ๊ะใครบ้างโอเค24 students raise your hand 26 25โอเค good อ่ะยกขึ้นมาเลยนะครับเดี๋ยวทีม present เขาจะได้ cap capture เปลี่ยนหน้าไม่เอ่ยถ้าเปลี่ยนหน้าปุ๊บเรา run capture แล้วก็ดันเข้ามาเลยครับดันยังโอเค moving to next slide here um 11.2 The first one would be temporary, terminate, terrible, theoretical, through, throughout, right? Traditionally, tremendous, triumph, transformation, and turn over. Like, I like my lap.
All right. Mm-hmm. Call check on that corrupt. เดี๋ยวเราเพิ่มพิมพ์เข้ามาก่อนนะครับยกมือเลยนะครับใครที่พิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วยกมือเลยนะครับ alright and then if you feel like everyone done it so just capture and then type done I'm going to move to the next slide here done รู้เร็วดีดีมากเลยชอบชอบงานดันนะครับโอเคไหมฮะไปครับคิวสุดท้ายของ world cup คือ unconditional Unfortunately, unspoiled, right? Unspoiled, uh -huh. unfavorable, upcoming vacancy, vaccinations, valuable, right? Valuable, right? And then very vendors. That's it, my love. โอเคเป็นไงบ้างเดี๋ยวขอเช็คก่อนนะครับคิวสุดท้ายแล้วจะไป before we go ดีมากนะคำศัพท์แต่ละคนนี่ดีมากๆนะฮะหน้าที่คือต้องไปท่องไปทวนและไปจำให้ได้ that's it alright great 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 ดันไหมฮะดันปุ๊บ before we go เลยนะครับแล้วก็วันนี้ before we go น่าจะยาวนิดหนึ่งนะฮะดันครับผมเก่งมาก moving to the last section for today อ๋อมีสิบหนึ่งสิบจุดสิบเอ็ดจุดสี่เฮ้ยขอโทษน่าจะเป็น Q สุดท้ายแล้วไม่น่าจะมี w o r k c a p แล้ววิกหน้างั้นก็เอาให้หมดครับผมโทษทีครับมีมีแอดเข้ามาเพิ่มนะครับ variant withdrawal Workplace, wholesales, warning, worthless, yield, walk away, yearly, and then zero. In the name, in the name, totally. Oh, so that our team present don't cap capture yet. Any one day. Sorry, no you.
หมเข้ามาแล้วนะครับคิวสุดท้ายละ alright ดันไหมดันดีกว่าไหมเดี๋ยวรอเพื่อนแป๊บหนึ่งถ้าพร้อมแล้วดันเลยนะครับ before we go the last session for today อันนี้รอดันก่อนโอเค done 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 that's it um, before we go นะฮะวันนี้ที่เราขอยนั่นเองนะครับอ่าก็ไม่มีอะไรมากครับ10ข้อ10คำนะครับ meaningful sentence แต่งกันเข้ามาเลยนะครับ do business do nothing uh-huh. do someone a favor do my favor do your favor that's it right and then do the cooking do the housework or do the homework um, do The chopping, uh-huh. do the washing up, do your best. a n y t h i n try my best. Do your hair, that p o m l i k e do your homework. ใครที่พิมพ์เข้ามาแล้วอนุญาตให้ออกจากซูมนะครับ And then see you next week. Bye bye. I want to do nothing. <laughs> okay, ครับอ่าตามนี้นะครับ Happy นะครับทุกคน
พิมพ์ขึ้นมาได้เลยนะครับตอนนี้เหลืออีกกี่คนเอ่ยนะเหลืออีกประมาณสี่คนสุดท้ายนะฮะเป็นไงบ้างนะครับคิดว่าน่าจะพิมพ์เข้ามาครบแล้วนะครับ All right What time is it right now I think it's enough for all of you so I have to quit <laughs> No it's um just finish the class just all it is and see you next week Bye bye